This is our third year of personalized learning implementation. We, um, prior to this being our third year, we had a planning year as well. Um, but it really all started from listening to our students and the feedback um, and them talking about their student experience. So they were saying that they needed more access to their teacher, more access to uh, technology. And um, we were looking at our data, the students that we were sending over to the high school, they weren't prepared um, for that experience and even beyond that experience. Um, so that's really where the, the change and the, the thought process to, to get our students a different student experience um, really started. Uh, so we had that planning year and uh, that gave us an opportunity to go out and research uh, different models throughout the country. Uh, we had some teachers go to Chicago, go out to California and just see um, what places and what schools were doing differently. We um, uh, also did research on our own and we just started thinking about our school uh, in a different way. Uh, we started thinking about how we could allocate our resources, whether it be staffing or um, le our learning spaces a little bit differently. So uh, that's where it started with that planning year. Um, from that, we uh, knocked out a couple walls in a few, our, a few of our rooms and created a blended school uh, with half of our school. Uh, and the data that we got from that um, showed that we needed to take that full school. We saw a decrease in our discipline and increase in our student achievement. Um, and our students uh, had more access to technology, more access to the teacher, um, because the blended model allowed us to reduce our class size. We created a large lab rotation and our students um, had access to technology for about two hours of the day. Again, our district really supported um, us thinking about our school experience and what it could look like. So they really allow us to, to think differently. And one of the ways was staffing. So um, we, we um, had a couple of teacher allocations and we asked the district if we could, instead of having two teachers, if we could get um, two pair pros for one teacher. So we put those um, positions, those staffing, uh, those pair pros into those um, lab settings um, to work with um, the students in that space. Um, so that's one of the staffing areas. We also at one time had two deans. We had a dean of discipline and a dean um, of uh, MTSS. Uh, so that was, again, taking an assistant principal and splitting that position into two, two um, allocations. Uh, so we had the two deans as well at one point. Um, we also thought about our spaces differently. As I mentioned, we had um, some classrooms where we knocked down walls and created a larger space um, for our students to be able to work in. Uh, and again, those are that's our current maker space and our two assessment labs. Um, they were smaller classrooms and we cut holes, um, or the district came and cut holes in the wall um, to allow that to be a larger space for students to, to go on there and work. Uh, the next step for us uh, in, the, in the journey and thinking differently was with competency-based education. Uh, we took the uh, competencies that Henry County Schools uh, developed and we um, had our teachers use formative instructional practices to break those competencies down, uh, look at the performance indicators and create learning targets. And um, from that, um, we developed our learner pathway that our teachers use and our students use uh, to kind of guide their learning. Um, and, and the student experience. Um, so again, we, we reflect back on our data uh, and our, our data again you know, proved that what we were doing was having an effect again. Um, our, our students um, had more access to the teacher because of that smaller class size. Um, our teachers are able to conference with their students in a much more meaningful way and have more meaningful conversations about who they are as a student um, in school and outside of school. Um, they also had access to, to the technology as well. Um, and also the competency-based um, model allowed our students to, to understand what learning targets they um, struggle with, um, where their strengths were, and what areas of growth um, that they are, are seeing in their learning.